my gosh. <laughs> Happy August, everybody. Good morning. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Welcome back to a new video. If I am looking a little bit tired and sounding a little bit bunged up, it is because I am. I seem to have just got really bad hay fever this year. I don't know why. I think it's because it's raining more because when it's nice and hot and sunny and really dry, I don't seem to get hay fever symptoms at all. But when it then rains, it seems to stir it up. So I think the extra rain that we've had this year has meant that my hay fever has just been particularly bad. It is a very, very, very miserable day today. I'm looking out the window. Luckily, it is still light enough and I've got good light in here whilst I'm getting ready. Um, but it is just pouring. Ever since I woke up, I think I got up at like half six this morning and it's now, I don't know what the time is, I think it's like nine, half nine. It has not stopped pouring with rain. So I have a feeling it's going to be a very wet autumnal day today, which is no complaints from me. I am just getting ready for the day. So I thought I would do a very quick chatty get ready with me kind of thing. I haven't really done one of those for a while other than putting it on a bit of a time lapse. I've got my mirror here next to me. So that is why I'm continuously looking over in this direction. And that the joyous part of the month where I get a breakout <laughs> on my cheeks, although this is a particularly bad one. I don't know if it's because I've been a little bit more stressed recently I'm not sure but I've had some spots come up here which are looking a little bit angry so I've learnt with my skin the best thing to do is to just strip all my skincare back and go back to basics don't add in anything don't add any like new ingredients or anything that might stir it up and irritate it because it seems to be quite sensitive in that respect um so I'm just going to go back to basics with my trusty Illumia. I've just reordered some moisturiser because it ran out. It's tricky. Uh, I think they changed their packaging now, but the way that their current packaging is, or when I last bought it, you can't tell when things are running out and everything runs out at the same time. But in my eyes, if it works, it works. And my skin is very important thing to me. I spend, I would rather spend my money on skincare than spend my money on makeup, which is exactly what I do. So it is worth the investment for me, I think. I absolutely love this concealer. I think I spoke about it like a few months ago. The difference is just mega and it is so cheap. It's the Revolution Conceal and Define. I have shade C3 which I find to be a really nice brightening shade for under my eyes as well. It's a very good concealer. It's full coverage, but it's not um, what I would class as heavy. It's still a nice light concealer. I'm going over the top with, I need my brush, which is behind you. You are currently propped up against my brush pot. So I then, just lightly go over the top with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish. And I wear shade one, which is fair because I am super pale <laughs> and I have just learned to embrace it. So I go over with a light dusting of this and it genuinely does what it says. Like it airbrushes your skin. It's so good at just blurring things out, especially when you've got more enlarged pores like I do in certain places, kind of around my T-zone and whatnot. So yes, a light coating of that over the chins as well. <laughs> now, I'm not gonna do my eyebrows properly today. I'm gonna give them a quick brush, but I'm not gonna do them because I am very shortly going to a nail and brow appointment, which I'm very excited for. I have them every eight weeks um, because I've got myself into a bit of a cycle. So my nails last me four weeks, generally, when I get them done. 
So I go and see my lovely nail lady every eight weeks and she does my nails and my toes and my brows. And then the four weeks in between, I redo my nails myself. So I did these, I think a couple of weeks ago, apart from that one, my thumb has just, you know, and your nail like splits halfway and you just think, oh my gosh, this is, this is the start of the end for my nail. I do my nails in between and then by the time another four weeks comes around, I get everything redone again. What am I looking for? Mascara. <laughs> I've got my appointment at 11 o'clock. We also need to go and pick up Ronnie because he is coming to stay with us for a whole week whilst the rest of my family are all on holiday. So I'm very excited to have my little fluff ball running around for a whole week to his heart's content. Okay, mascara is done. I feel like it's drying out. I've been using this quite a lot now. This is the second one that I've pretty much come to the end of. It's not run out, but it's definitely drying I can kind of tell when I get to the end of my lashes and there's not really any product on them I'm like mm, okay it's starting to dry out I should probably think about getting a new one anyway that is all I'm going to go for today I haven't properly done my hair at the moment it's up in a very messy bun in terms of the rest of my outfit I've got just my basic huggy hoops in which at the moment I'm just living in I wear them all the time and my usual rings which I've had for ages in terms of my outfit if I spin you round I have gone for something very simple and very cozy today so I've got my new Tesco F&F cozy knit jumper on which I'm obsessed with I just did a button up because I don't have my Reese bodysuit. I've only got this like Adenola tank top and I don't really feel like I like the whole look of it completely done up. It makes me feel very like boxy. <laughs> so I've kind of just done up the top button. I might even do up another button. I can't really decide. But I just wanted to be super cozy and wear something that was just comfortable. And then I've got my Stradivarius slim mum jeans on which I'm also living in um what else do I need to think about shoes and also my bag which I very excitingly have something to show you and I'm going to go and grab it because I've left it downstairs so shoes and bag firstly I think I'm going to go for something slightly more practical today I was going to wear my very trusty June tan sandals but the weather is just saying no because I'm going to get very wet toes. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna go with just some nice tan colored loafers, which are actually from Primark. And I've started wearing them more often. I didn't wear them for ages, but now that I've kind of got the whole blue jean thing going on, they actually look quite nice and they add a bit of color into my outfit. Now, bags, which I don't always talk to you about, but bags I think are a very essential part of an outfit. This part of this week's video is super kindly sponsored by Teddy Blake, which is very exciting for me because I have wanted one of their bags for so long. I think I've been subscribed to their like email subscription list for probably a year or two and I've always had a look at the bags and I've always thought oh my goodness one day I'm going to treat myself to one of their bags because although they are kind of middle in the price spectrum um, they are much much cheaper than the designer luxury bags that pretty much use the same kind of materials in the bags that they make. So I have actually kept this in the box. I've had a little peek just to make sure that everything arrived safely and that it was definitely you know, like the right thing and whatnot, but I haven't properly opened it because I wanted to save it to open with you. I don't know how I've managed to resist not opening this, but I managed to resist. Take it out of the packaging. So it comes in this really lovely dust bag, which is a gorgeous material, oh my goodness. The other dust bags I have are kind of like a silky material, but this is a really lovely kind of brushed cotton fabric, which is nice. Let me pop this box down here. So this bag is called the Ava Gold 11 inch bag in the color Camel Brown. Oh my gosh. I've been like opening it while speaking and I haven't properly been paying attention. <gasps> oh, it's the perfect size. <gasps> Look at this bag. Oh my gosh. So this is the back, which I love. 
I sometimes find that nice bags have got the most gorgeous front and then the back is just plain. So I really like this detail on the back. It's kind of a dupe for a very well-known bag, isn't it? It is so gorgeous. And I wanted this colour purposely to match my gorgeous June sandals and my other tan shoes because I just didn't have a bag. So yeah, I went for the 11 inch size. They have a nine inch, they have a 13 or 14 inch as well. So they've got a few different sizes, but I thought that this would be a really practical size. Now you do also get with this bag, can I just say, I'm one of those people that loves the smell of leather. And honestly, as soon as I pulled this out the dust bag, I just could smell the leather. And that's when you know it's like, really good quality leather when you can smell it some people might not like the smell of leather but i just absolutely love it so you also get with this bag a shoulder strap oh and it looks like a little kind of charm thing as well oh this is cute oh that's so cute <gasps> that is a lovely little charm i love that detail and then the shoulder strap you've also got as well which you can attach onto the gold hardware up here. Oh, it's proper leather. <gasps> Look inside here. Can you see the texture of the leather? I love this little insert as well. So you've got a little section in here to put any valuables. You've also got a zip section in here. So if you have got loose bits like bank cards or things that you want to keep completely hidden or kind of toiletries and things like that, then you've got the option to do that. This is such a good size. I'm super pleased with this. I can't even tell you how amazing it smells. Please excuse the mess. <laughs> so I can carry it with my jeans and my lovely tan shoes. Oh, I like. I think it's a nice kind of luxury looking addition for quite a cosy casual outfit. I think it just makes a nice contrast doesn't it i really need to do my hair maybe i'll do um a scrunchie that is kind of the same color as this tan that would be quite cute wouldn't it yeah super pleased thank you very much to teddy blake for the bag i will definitely be getting a lot of use out of it james has just woken up he's had a bit of a lie in this morning <laughs> i am quite a few hours ahead of him so anyway i am going to finish getting the house ready before we head out and go to my nail appointment go and pick up ronnie and then we need to pop and see some family as well which will be lovely and i think what i'm going to do either this afternoon or maybe tomorrow because we have a few more bits to do as well in the house I thought I would give you a bit of an updated house tour because there's so many changes that we've done. Obviously, this room isn't 100% finished because we need to get the wallpaper onto the wall. But so many changes, as you can see, have happened in this room. Also, the office space has had quite a few changes. We've got the new wardrobes upstairs, which are looking amazing, although we need to finish putting the doors on. And I've kind of done a new sofa layout downstairs in the living room. So I have a lot to show you. And I think we've, I don't know how long we've been in here now. I think it's been just over two months. So let's call it the eight week house tour <laughs> since we moved in because we officially moved on the 1st of June. Tomorrow seems a long way off for me, but you will pretty much be in tomorrow in the next clip. We will just jump forward in time. So yeah, I will catch up with you tomorrow. Would you look at that? I believe that is what they call a blue sky, <laughs> which is amazing. I don't know how long it's gonna last, but I will take it. Good morning. This look is quite something, isn't it? <laughs> this is my slept in washed hair and hairband to do skin and do makeup to get said hair out of face. <laughs> that was quite the description, wasn't it? That is, of course, not how I plan to keep my hair today, but I have just been getting ready. We have Ronnie here this morning, who just looks like a fluffy blob on the bed. Are you sleepy still? I am doing very well at sticking to my planned sleep routine now. I was so out of it and I was just feeling so tired and feeling so all over the place. And I've been trying really hard to get back into a routine, which is basically to be up at 6.30, no later than seven, and to try and get to bed a little bit earlier. 
and I'm feeling slightly more alert today. I got up at 6.30 again this morning. It's now about 10 o'clock. I sat and watched some YouTube, caught up on some of that, which was lovely. James eventually got out of bed and came down. He knows what I'm like on a Sunday morning when I get up early and start watching YouTube and snuggle up on the sofa. He knows that I will just end up doing that until lunchtime because I just get so comfy. So he came down and he said, we're leaving at 10.15, make sure you're ready. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna get ready now. Um, so that is what I have done. We are planning today, this will eventually drop. I'm gonna put some dry shampoo and maybe some hair oil in it just to make it look a little bit more presentable. We are planning today to have a nice cozy Sunday. Obviously I need to give you an updated house tour which I'm so excited to do. The wardrobes are done, the desk is built um, and yeah there are just so many bits and bobs that I want to show you which is exciting. We are also before that going to take this little snoozy one out for a walk. <laughs> And we also want to go and have a trip to the garden centre. It's just something nice to do on a Sunday. And we've been going a few times, kind of once or twice a month. And it's really lovely to just go and sit in the cafe, have a wander around the garden centre. Ronnie can come with us as well. They have like a dedicated seating area where you can sit with doggies as well. So yeah, we'll have a wander around there. We are going to try somewhere new for our walk. Um, we haven't been before, so it might be a complete fail, but we'll see how we get on. I'm fully prepared for it to be muddy because it was honestly just torrential rain all day yesterday. It was bonkers. I am kind of expecting um, the next week or so to be quite a bit better in terms of weather. I mean, obviously I'm an autumn person and I do love autumn. However, excuse me, just making my hair look like a lion's mane. However, the one thing I do like about summer is the summer dresses. And it's safe to say I have barely worn any of them this year so far. I've worn one or two like comfy round the house ones, but I've got some really nice ones that I like to kind of wear to go out for dinner or out for like a lunch and dress up a little bit more. And I've honestly probably worn like one of them once this year, which is just crazy considering it's what, the first half of August now, which I just don't understand. But anyway, I'm sure every man and his dog is talking about the weather. <laughs> I did get my nails done. I went for a really pretty kind of slightly pinky beigey neutral which has got if I try and focus there we go it's got a little bit of a shimmer in it as well so it's still like a nice pretty color but I wanted to embrace the neutrals a little bit because I was just feeling autumnal conveniently the sun has now come out so maybe I jinxed it for the best who knows hopefully the sun will stay out and we can enjoy a really beautiful walk but I will take you along with us I'm going to go and finish getting ready, grab some socks, get my trainers on, and then we will head out. And then when we get back, I will give you a house tour. If there are any plants here, we can bring back to life. That's cute. in the car. <laughs> what was he doing? <laughs> what are you doing? We are going to go and hunt down this dog walk. 
see if we can find it and hopefully we can have a nice sunny walk. It's actually really warm today. The car only says 16.5, but I am roasting. I'm gonna have to take my jacket off actually. Finally, the weather is beautiful. It was about time. I don't remember the last time we had a beautiful sunny day like this. So I'm very grateful. And we have found the dog walk. It had its own car park. It was well signposted. So I think it's probably a popular one. There are lots of doggies around and Ronnie is absolutely loving all the smells. So I think there's like a lake or two lakes in the middle of this as well. So, oh, this was just so needed. We really needed a nice chilled weekend. And it looks like we've, well, we've had one. So yeah, we'll see where this walk takes us. We didn't end up doing a super long walk because it actually started to get hotter than we were expecting it to and obviously Ronnie will start to overheat so we decided to just do about half an hour and then we came home. My top is looking a bit creased now because I've had my jacket tied around it but it is just going to be a chilled out afternoon so I just want to wear something comfy. If you can hear that noise in the background it's Ronnie having a big old drink <laughs> now that we've got back in. But anyway, I thought I would give you a bit of a house tour now, as promised. I'm going to start in the kitchen. Some of the rooms aren't going to be perfect <laughs> and some of the rooms just haven't been tidied properly. But just to give you an idea of the updates that we've done, what we've done since we moved in, I thought it would just be a nice thing to show you. So I will spin you around and we'll start with the kitchen. This is how the kitchen is currently looking. Not much has changed on this end other than just putting bits out on the counter. But over on this end, I flicked the light on because the sun has just gone behind a cloud and it's a bit dark. So over on this side, we've popped a radiator cover over the radiator. Whether it stays here or not, I'm not sure. And I need to have a think about potentially what we can do with this wall. Obviously you would have seen our new dining table and chairs from the last video, which I am in love with. And I need to find some nice fabric to go onto the chairs. I am kind of thinking a fabric like this might be really lovely to put on the chairs, maybe more of a brownie ferny colour, I don't know. But yeah, it's a lovely size, really happy with it. We've obviously painted the kitchen as well in the Hemway chalk paint, which I popped a reel of over on my Instagram, but it's a really, really nice light cream colour. And otherwise, I've just given the shelves a bit of styling. We've popped the big mirror up on the wall, which helps so much to brighten the room. It's made a massive difference. I think eventually we might look to put a hole into this wall with some windows or even some doors. But for the time being, we've got a sofa at the back of the wall on the other side. So we've popped a big mirror on, which was just such a bargain um, in, I think I got it from, I got it from Pine and Oak Furniture. They have a few showrooms kind of in the South of the UK. And it was something like 250 pounds down to 49 um, in the clearance. And yeah, I, I couldn't leave it behind. So that came home with me. And yeah, other than that, the kitchen is just looking the same. Down the hallway, we've still got the console table down here. Although I want to get a much longer one to fill the space a bit better. <laughs> the rugs obviously had a Ronnie run across it and it's no longer straight. And then I'm thinking about getting a big long mirror to go up here as well because it is quite a dark hallway. Um, the downstairs bathroom hasn't changed massively. We did give it a lick of paint. And James also added this white dado rail, which needs, we need to kind of 
tidy up the top of it but you get the idea so this was also a Hemway color in beige so it's also chalk paint and it's a really really nice color there's not much else we can do in here I need to find some nice artwork to go up on this wall if I kind of go back as far as I can we've got a big old wall here with nothing on it so I need to have a think about that um, and then over on the other side is where I popped my pretty oak shelf with the little H&M basket and the picture that Fiona took for me of the cows in the field, which I just flip in love. <laughs> I think it's such a nice feature. So yeah, downstairs bathroom. Hey, are you happy after your walk? <laughs> yeah, he's tired now. Flip the light off in there. Yep, I did turn the light off. Are you gonna show us the living room? Are you gonna show us how the living room's looking? Come on then, let's go and show everybody. So, excuse the tired James lying on one of the sofas, but basically this is the layout that I've gone for at the moment. So, it was kind of stressing me out having the back of a sofa in the doorway. I didn't really like it, and I'm not even exaggerating when I say it took me about 15 goes of moving the sofas round to find a layout that I liked but I'm really happy with this. I've moved the TV over to the other wall and this is where we'll build a big old media unit in probably a nice olive green color. And then I've popped the olive tree in that corner. And at the moment there is the table that was in the snug is down on this corner. Not really much going on, to be honest. It's just sat there, just acting as a table. And then if I kind of step back towards the garden doors, you can see um, the layout that we've got here. Look at these two. Honestly, you take them out for half an hour and the two of them just end up looking like that. Never seen anything like it. So yeah, it's much brighter. It's really open. We'll get a bigger coffee table eventually. And then along the back wall here, isn't this just the perfect Christmas tree corner? <laughs> you can tell I'm a Christmas person already thinking about that. The chair will go and we'll get a great big sideboard eventually once we've saved some pennies for that, which I'll probably do to match the coffee table as well. So that will be along the back wall and then maybe some art or another mirror, who knows? But it's left us with a really nice walkway between the door and the garden, which I'm really pleased with. And it just means we've got this lovely sofa area so after much deliberation this is the end result and I'm really happy with it we don't spend an awful lot of time in this room because we're in the snug so much and the room just hasn't been done yet please excuse my unbrushed hair uh, so yeah it's not really bothering us too much because we just don't find ourselves sat in here it will probably change once we've done the room but we've wanted to get the other rooms done first before we tackle this one because this will be one of the bigger projects so this will probably come in a month or two once we've saved up a bit more money to get the materials for the media unit and we have a bit of time on our hands into the garden ronnie modeling it once again so i've probably showed you kind of the outcome of, of what we were doing already we did actually decide to cover up the sofa because it was just raining so much we thought at this point we're just not going to sit out in the garden so maybe we'll uncover it for this week because it is supposed to dry up but this is where we've got the storage box in the garden the flowers are thriving the majority of them are doing very well i've had some beautiful pink roses come out the foxgloves are very happy as well and look at my sweet peas guys i actually brought them back to life i couldn't believe it they are happy they're growing i don't know how far they'll get because they're probably behind to where they should be at this time of the year but they're still looking fabulous and they're still looking happy the grass is super green it doesn't even look like we added the extra turf here now it all matches perfectly so <laughs> perfectly modeled by ronnie so yeah i think we'll probably just leave it as it is which is amazing that's one thing the rain has been good for it's really helped and then over here the fern is just happy sitting down there the dahlias i'm gonna go on the slightly wet grass with my socks but the dahlias look how well they've been doing i cannot believe how many have come out on this plant it's grown so much considering it was literally down here when i first planted it in 
but I just can't believe how many I've had. They are so beautiful and there are so many more buds to come as well. It is probably the happiest plant I have in this garden. The pink has faded slightly on this one. I can't actually remember the name of it. So I need to do a bit of research on that and just make sure it's happy. And then the hydrangeas are obviously, they don't last forever in their beautiful pink colors. But if you can see just down in here, you've got some new growth coming down in there. So once the winter's passed and we get to spring, I'll chop it down to where the new growth is and I think it will do very well. Up the stairs, the first room that I've been excited to show you is the office room. Now it's looking quite empty <laughs> and there's still a little bit of work that needs to be done along the top of the dado rail, you'll probably notice. But this is how it's looking and I absolutely love it. I'm so pleased that we did it. So this is the desk that we built yesterday. It is just, if I move this out of the way, this chair will go and I'm going to get a slightly more aesthetic looking chair. So it is just a standard, uh, I think it's called the Malm desk from Ikea. But what I'm planning to do is maybe even add some moulding onto the drawers, but I'm at least going to add some pretty handles just to jazz it up a little bit and make it look a little bit more, um, a little bit more classy and a little bit more in keeping with the rest of the beautiful room. But I just decided to go for something white because I thought I don't want it to stand out too much from the panelling and I can kind of make the desk look <laughs> a little bit nicer than it looks now. But yeah, really pleased with it. And for this side of the room, I'm thinking I'm going to get a really nice kind of tub chair, armchair sat in the corner here with a footstool, just in case we fancy just sitting there with our laptops rather than sitting at the desk. This section, I'm probably going to find another beautiful olive tree or a nice tall plant to go there. And then this little section here it is a bit of a funny shape. I think I'm just going to get a nice wooden sideboard. The fan can go into the loft or something. We haven't even needed it this year. But yeah, I'll probably get a sideboard there just to hide some more bits and bobs. And I don't know what I'll do with these grey drawers. Who knows? They will probably go in a bathroom somewhere. It's starting to come together. I just need to create a nice cosy space along here and I want to get some nice artwork to go up here and maybe something up there as well a nice kind of vintage country looking print I think would be lovely with the with the olive green walls moving into the guest bedroom it is almost done I can tell that there's been a little doggy <laughs> on these uh on these bed sheets because I can see the paw prints in the throw this is the update in the guest bedroom so we still need to do the wallpaper I think we're gonna try and do that next weekend um, and I have got some more bedding coming that I've ordered as well hence why these cushions have no longer got covered on but I absolutely love the look of this room this is a dressing table that I ordered it was an absolute bargain I will link it down below I was on the hunt for a nice dressing table that wasn't too big um, but still looked lovely without breaking the bank because I didn't want to spend too much on it and I found this on a website I hope I pronounce it correctly I think it's called Noah and Nanny or Noah and Nani um, and the stool is kind of a dark grey colour, hence why I've popped a blanket over it. I will probably reupholster it at the same time that I get the kitchen chairs done. But can you believe that the dressing table and the stool together was something like £127, which I think is such a good price because it's a lovely design. It feels pretty solid. It feels great quality. And I just think it adds the perfect finish to this corner of the room. So the chest of drawers that was here before has now gone upstairs, which I'll show you. And I've just kind of organized it with all of my hair bits in there, hair tools in here. So hair brush, hair dryer, curlers, etc. That goes in the other drawer. <laughs> And then bits and bobs in here, just essentials, so deodorant, hair bits again. Um, I need to find a makeup organiser to go into this drawer, but for now I've just popped all of my makeup down in there. And then the bottom drawer is just perfumes, essentials and spare bits. So bits that I don't really need just yet, like body lotion and shower gel and, and bits like that. This is kind of my spares area so they're just sitting in there for now the paint color that we've used for the paneling and the walls is actually can you believe it the same paint color as the bedside tables 
but in real life it does look very different. I don't know how well it shows up on camera but it's got much more of a green undertone. So the bedside tables are pretty much like a light beige color, whereas the paneling is very hard to show you in this light, but it's got quite a green tint to it. You might be able to see it there. And when I first kind of walked in when James had painted it, I was like, hmm, I'm not sure about this. It just wasn't what I was expecting at all. And I think maybe just because we painted it on two different materials, it's made a difference. But now that I've gotten used to it, and now that I've added some green touches with the cushions on the bed and some nice warm neutrals, I actually really like it and I think it's lovely. You can see the print that I ordered in my haul from the range last week is sitting up here and looks so lovely just sitting on its own I think it's a gorgeous touch where did you appear from that was strange that was very sneaky he seems to just be following me around he really wants to <laughs> play a part in this house tour doesn't he quite a few changes in here the paneling is up it's painted the dressing tables in I've made a few changes in terms of the color scheme and the final bit to do is just the wallpaper along the top which I'm very excited to do and hopefully we can get that done next weekend and then that will pretty much be the guest bedroom done I mean, I kind of want to be a guest in here, to be honest. I'm so pleased with it. Down the hallway, I've just kind of kept this the same. Not much has changed here. I've just popped a radiator cover over the radiator with a little basket and a pretty stem from Neptune, which I think is a nice little summery touch. And obviously my favourite artwork from Dunelm. Moving into the snug, it's not looking too different to when you maybe last saw it. Again, you can tell that a sleepy doggy has been has been up on here. This is exactly the same colour as the study room. We did the walls in the same Dulux overtly olive colour and it is such a cosy room. I'm just so pleased with it. I've kept the trunk in this corner with the artwork up on the walls and the other Darnell artwork there. Um, the blanket that's on here usually goes down in this basket. I thought that was a nice little touch. And yeah, I've got candles, I've got lanterns, I've got blankets. It's just fabulous. I need to kind of find a couple of things to go either side of this TV unit just to fill the space. But otherwise, really pleased with it. I definitely want to get some nice shutters to go up on here just because we do have people facing opposite us. So it would be nice to just have a little bit more privacy. But yeah. I just love how cosy this room is. Take you up to the top floor. Ronnie's just raced up there to try and beat me. Um, I don't know what condition this room is gonna be in because I did not make the bed this morning. Okay, it doesn't look that bad. I can show you. This is James and Ronnie's version of how to make the bed, which I would give, hmm, I would give a six out of 10. I'm gonna give a six out of 10. I'm not too sure what's going on here and my teddy is quite clearly upside down in the middle of the cushions, but I can tell that he tried. <laughs> so this is how the bedroom is currently looking. Not much has changed from this direction, but if I spin you round, this is how the opposite is now looking. So we ordered some Pax wardrobes from Ikea. We did kind of design them on the Pax designer ourselves. Um, so this has got all of James's bits in and then mine are in the two cupboard wardrobes downstairs. Now, obviously they're missing handles. So we need to order some nice handles. I'm thinking some handles that are really similar to this kind of almost black, but not quite black handles. They're kind of like a brushed, chromey, kind of colour. So I'm going to find some to put on there. And then the sideboard that was in the guest bedroom has come up to go next to the wardrobes. This was kind of the vision that I had because originally we were going to have this whole section as wardrobes with them cut down. But I'm glad that we left this area and it means that I can find a nice pretty bouquet similar to the one that I've got on my bedside table just to add some nice colour to the space because it is very white. So yeah, this is all just kind of temporary, but I will get some handles on this chest of drawers to match the handles that we put onto the wardrobes as well to kind of tie it all in together. I must say he has arranged it very well. Look how neat and tidy this is looking. 
you can see why James and I get on so well. I mean, the top shelf, even James can't reach the top shelf. It is so high, but he's done a very good job. I think it looks quite nice. And yeah, this gives me a nice area up here to style as well, which is lovely. These two rooms haven't changed an awful lot. Um, this is kind of just what we're treating as the laundry room. We did order a new laundry basket from Matalan, which I love. We really like having a lights and dark section because it just means that we can split the clothes because I <laughs> just have this horrible feeling that if everything was joined in together, James would just take a pile out and that would be it and everything would be a different colour by the end of it. So yeah, we got this from Matalan and it's really lovely. It wasn't an awful price. It was slightly more than, you know, we paid for the last one, but it's really nice quality and I think it looks lovely in here. It's a nice little kind of country farmhouse addition to the little room. Bathroom is pretty much the same. Still haven't got a toilet roll holder, so I need to do that. And eventually I want to get a nice vanity unit to go around this sink area because I think that will give us some nice, much needed storage and it will tie everything in together. But yeah, not a huge amount has changed in there. And obviously the flooring you've seen, which is the flooring that we got from Carpet Right, which I still am just absolutely in love with. So that was a very speedy house tour. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed. Um, hopefully I didn't talk too quickly and hopefully I covered all of the points. You are following me around everywhere today. Are you sunbathing? Are you sunbathing next to Mama? He'll last there for about two minutes and then he'll get too hot. <laughs> he tries to sunbathe but he forgets that he's a fluffy black dog and he gets very hot in the sun. It's officially been about eight weeks in the house which just feels crazy and I can't believe that two months have flown by. I do feel like we've got an awful lot done and we have achieved so much. Some people have kind of said like oh my goodness I can't believe how much you've done and how busy you've been but it kind of was partly just that we'd already thought about it and we kind of already had ideas about what we wanted to do but then equally in the back of James's mind, the football season has just started and he wants to get back into some golf. So he really wanted to kind of dedicate the first couple of months into painting and doing quite a few of the projects because he kind of knew that he wasn't going to have loads of time once all of that started because once the football season starts he tends to disappear so yeah we've we've got plenty done and I'm so pleased with it I think oh, I don't know what my favorite room is I love this room this is a really cozy room and I'm so pleased that we went for the dark wall color but then equally, I do love how the guest room is looking and I have a feeling that that may end up being my favourite room. If you have any other questions about furniture, about paint colours, about plans, about things that we've done or things that you've spotted, then please just comment below and I will answer any questions that you've got if you think I've missed anything. And also don't forget, I, I always forget to say this, but if you have enjoyed the video or you are enjoying watching my videos, then make sure that you've subscribed and also make sure that you've clicked like on this video. It would mean the absolute world to me. Enjoy the rest of your weekend or the rest of your week whenever you're watching this and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.